Today I'm making croissants, cheese croissants, plain croissant, and pain au chocolat. To start, add water, milk powder, and sugar to the bowl and stir to dissolve. Sprinkle the yeast on top and wait about five minutes until it is foamy. Add the salt and the flour, and with the dough hook, stir to a smooth dough. Next, we're adding the butter to make an enriched dough. We're gonna mix again with the dough hook. It might look like it won't come together, but it will by the end. Next, we're going to cover and rest for 30 minutes and then spread out into a rectangle on a cookie sheet. We're gonna cover the dough and let it rest for an hour and a half and then put it in the refrigerator to rest for one hour. Meanwhile, we're gonna get the beurrage ready. I press mine into an eight inch square casserole dish to make a square shape, and then we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator to chill with the dough. Take the butter out 10 minutes before the dough so it's easier to roll out. Roll the dough and place the butter in the middle in a diamond shape. We're gonna fold the dough around the butter and roll them both out into a rectangle. The rectangle should be about three times the width of the cookie sheet, that way when we fold it in thirds, it's gonna fit back inside. Now that we've folded it into thirds, we're gonna put it back on the cookie sheet, cover it, and put it in the refrigerator for four to eight hours. When you remove it from the fridge, you're gonna roll it out again to the same size as you did before, but in the opposite direction as the first roll. Fold it in thirds again, or if you rolled it out extra long like I did here, fold it into fourths, cover and chill for another four to eight hours. We're gonna do this one more time. We finally made it to the final roll. We're gonna remove it from the fridge and we're gonna roll it out a little bit bigger than we had been for all the folds. Using a pizza roller or a knife, cut the dough into thirds lengthwise. Since I'm making plain croissants, cheese, and pain au chocolat, I'm going to do two rows of triangles and one row of rectangles. Cut a slit in the bottom of the triangles about an inch long. This helps them to bake evenly in the center. To roll the 
croissants, start at the bottom, pull them apart at the slit slightly and gently roll them towards the point. For the cheese croissants, sprinkle a little grated cheese and do the same roll as you did with the plain croissants. For the pain au chocolat, place a roll of semi-sweet chocolate at the bottom. Roll to cover, then place another line of chocolate and finish rolling up to the top. Space all the croissants out on cookie sheets. Cover and proof for about two hours. Just before they're ready for the oven, make an egg wash with one egg and a tablespoon of water. Brush on top of all of the pastries. Bake in a preheated 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Start making the vanilla glaze for the pain au chocolat. As soon as they come out of the oven, glaze the tops. Finally, place the melting chocolate in the pastry bag. To melt mine, I put mine in hot water from the kettle. Once your chocolate's melted, you can pipe it on top of your pastries. And that's it.